the most adorable dog on the planet. Excuse me? Sorry. In the entire universe. But she's so much more than that. She's got this whole other life that I didn't even know about. For example, you know how I told you every night when I go to bed, Bobo steals my socks? It's true. I do. And I never knew why, but I finally found out. And you won't believe what she does with them. <laughs> Welcome back to the yard. The backyard. Get it? Okay. Anyways, so I saw this with my own two eyes. A doggy sock fashion show. Whoa, what? There was crazy music, a huge runway, a dog judge, you guys, and dog wearing snazzy socks. How is this all happening? I'll tell you how it happened. We all steal our socks from our humans and take them down the street to our friend Biffy's house. Biffy is a Pomeranian who owns a sewing machine. Ah, uh, I should have guessed it. Bobo had the whole plane entertained, but there was one problem. Take it away, Captain Good News. This is your captain speaking. We still have four hours and 26 minutes to go. Aww. And the entertainment system is still down. Aww. We want Bobo! We want Bobo! And now, all of my fellow plane people, I give you Bobo! And an action-packed four hours and 26 minutes reenactment of all three Jurassic Park movies. Ah! Doggy dinosaurs have escaped and they are running for you in the dog park. Watch out, a potty break. Oh, does anyone have a giant bag? Ah! How was that, Jojo? Too scary? Where was I? Oh, right, 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 the concert. So I was rocking it, right, Bobo? Totally rocking it. I love you, Omaha. And that's where everything went wrong. There's this one really cool jump that I do and I nail it every time. But this one time I messed up when I landed and I twisted my ankle. Bobo, tell them what sound I made. Anyway, I limped off stage trying to keep a smile on my face, but inside I was all, oh my ankle! I found Bobo and I said, Bobo, listen, you have to go on stage for me. And Bobo said, hey, what now? And I said, Bobo, it's the big finale and I can't let everybody down. Bobo was super nervous, weren't you, Bobo? My nose was so sweaty. Luckily, though, I had a special Bobo-sized concert outfit, just in case this ever happened. I always remember to pack matching outfits for me and Bobo for other situations, like if we ever need to pass with twins. Could happen. Or if a surprise doubles tennis tournament breaks out. Or if we're on the airplane and we need to look super cute. Or if there's ever a surprise dog and owner fashion show we want to enter together. Gotta be ready. So you guys, I just found out that Bobo is, wait for it, a small business dog. I'm a small dog who ran a business. And what a business it was. You guys, Bobo was selling, wait for it, the dog seat. So Bobo got her sewing machine, made a onesie just for her, took a pic and put it up on Instagram. I have over a million followers. And they all went totally bonkers for the dogsy. And not just dogs, people wanted them too. Even though they weren't people's size, Bobo's business was doing so well that she even decided to pitch the idea to the hit TV show, Bark Tank. They gave Bobo money so that she could keep creating the dogsy. I mean, they dug her to the big dive. So Bobo, you're telling me that you want to be a unicorn dog on a rainbow with singing lollipops and donuts and all of the donuts have singing bows? Yes, yes, that is my dream, Jojo. I want to do it. I want to do it now. Well, who am I to say no to Bobo's dream? Jojo does not say no, no to Bobo. So I thought to myself, how could I make a DIY rainbow? A rainbow without a rain? Wait, that's just a bow. <gasps> bow, I have so many bows. I can make a bow rainbow. So I got my red, my yellow, my blue, my orange, my green, and my violet bows, and I arranged them into a beautiful rainbow. And how did I make the unicorn horn, you ask? Ha! I'm glad you asked. Step one, get white construction paper. Step two, cut the paper. Step three, roll the paper into a horn shape. Step four, glue the paper. And step five, welcome to Glitter Town. 
So there she was, a beautiful unicorn dog sitting on top of her rainbow. My mom brought home the donuts and lollipops. I proposed on them, and all was going great. So guys, I totally found out where Bobo runs off to. She has a secret doggy hideout. It's called a canine condo. And oh my gosh, it is beyond. You guys, you have to see it. Time to get Bobo sized with my itsy bitsy bow and take it to her under the bed. Jojo, you're Bobo sized. I know. Whoa, look at this place. Bobo, you are living the life. Plus, all my favorite furniture squeaks. <coughs> no way. Let's show everyone around your canine condo, Bobo. This is the dance floor where Bobo does the running man. What? Who let the dog out? Here, Bobo chills out on her doggy couch and watches her favorite movies. Bone Wars, The Dog Father, Say the Last Scrap. So good. And here's the best part. Bobo built a kibble bar with all the fixins so she could have her favorite snack. Peanut butter hot dog supreme! With extra bacon bits, of course. It's my favorite! Guys, thank you so much for watching! Wait, what's that, Bobo? Oh, okay. She says, hit subscribe! You're so smart. High five. Woo! I love her.